What's up guys, what's going on? So it's a video video. Today we are back in 7 Days to Die. Uh, today we are doing solo though. We did not get a chance to do any multiplayer lately and I'm like, oh shit, I haven't really posted 7 Days in a while. So I decided uh, for anyone who absolutely loves the game, single player, whatnot, you know, if, you, if you're if you waiting for the multiplayer, hopefully we can have that out soon. But just get a single player out and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. So last we did leave off in Season, I believe to be 9. We were in our church, and nighttime is approaching very quickly, so what we need to go ahead and do is really, we need to go ahead and board up these windows. We need to be as safe as possible, which, in reality, we're not that safe as is, so we gotta go ahead and just absolutely do work on this stuff. Sadly, we don't have the best, uh, the best repair tool. Actually, can we repair this more? No, I think we need more scrap iron, but we need to go ahead and do however much work on the windows as possible, because... The, I mean, windows are, for the most part, the weakest part of the church. Uh, the wood here is actually relatively strong, as you can see. It takes a couple hits to even do some damage to the wood. That is with a wrench, though, but nonetheless, definitely pretty strong. Uh, what we also... Hmm. Is there anything else we want to get going? I feel like we got six coffee. And we could make some corn on the cob. I think we planted some stuff out back and we got some scrap iron, which we do want to keep in this situation. Got trees, more wood planks, painkillers. Alright. Hmm. Well, we definitely want to go ahead and craft ourselves up something that's going to be very reusable. Give us plenty of bang for the buck, I guess you could say. Which in this case would be the crossbow. We definitely want one of these. It'll serve as a huge use to us. I think we need seven sticks. So, so as soon as we craft these, we're good to go. Let's get that crossbow. Uh, no, we actually need one more. Okay. Let's get three more going. Craft that bad boy up and then try to make some arrows. We won't be able to make too much, sadly, but still it is something and it'll give us a nice reasonable weapon. Because our ammo situation, we got a couple of shells, in all honesty, that's about it. And we don't really have a shotgun to shoot them out of, so it's pretty unfortunate in this case. And while that's building, let's go ahead. Uh, keep on boarding up these bad boys. For the most part, the rest of our church... Uh, the back door, we got as secure of a door as possible. The front, we actually uh, boarded off entirely, I believe. So not much really in the way of that. And then, really the walls are pretty safe. And as soon as we get these windows done, church is going to be pretty dope. Albeit, they don't, I don't know, we don't need to like prioritize them too much. But at the same time, I'd rather just be safe because nighttime is about to approach. And uh, the zombie hordes around here can get pretty bad. Now, the question is, uh, I think we want to go ahead and travel up north after, as soon as possible. Also, this the stupid upgrade screen. Let's get rid of that. I feel like up north there might actually be some more structures, which we really do want to go ahead and strive for. Or, we could go ahead and head back to the city, which should prove to be a little bit more of a challenge, because we haven't really explored it too much. I think that is a good idea. I think next time we want to go ahead, head into the city and see what we can find. Because there's a lot of buildings we've yet to yet to search. I think I just heard zombies. Hmm. That's slightly worrying, but I guess we'll have to make it do. Anyways, I did want to go ahead and ask this question pretty early on today because I kind of I kind of came I came into this and I knew what I wanted to ask you guys for the daily question of the day, even though that was extremely redundant. Pretty much, I want to ask you guys, what games would you love to see me play? Because uh, lately, the games have been running pretty thin, uh, because it's kind of like the, the calm before the storm that is uh, ho the holiday season, where literally every game, just every game ever comes out. So I was wondering, what are some games you guys are looking forward to and would possibly absolutely love to see me play? Especially like survival-ish games, because I know uh, one game I have on my list that I'm for sure just going to do a YouTube playthrough of is a uh, Far Cry 4. I definitely want to do that and I'm definitely going to do it. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, definitely, uh, if it goes in line with what a normal Far Cry game is, which I believe to be 10 to 15 hours, that should be 40 to 60 parts. I think mine will probably land on like the 40 to 50 scale, so that should be a pretty nice little series there and hopefully that, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, I mean, it is Far Cry, it is not necessarily a survival game, but it is like more on the open world side and definitely a lot more freedom, and that's definitely the games I find myself playing the most, kind of games with freedom, thus 
literally every game that's on my channel. Uh, even like when I back when I did GTA 5, that was that was like open world. Uh, hmm. All right, well we're completely out of wood. I'll just go ahead and get some sticks and we'll craft up some crossbow bolts. How do we have bolts? We need that, that, and sharp st Ooh, we need stone. Do we have any stones? Yeah, anyways, but uh, I do plan on playing Far Cry 4, and I just want to ask you guys, are there any other games you're possibly looking forward to? Because I know I'm going to be streaming, or hopefully, I don't know for sure, but hopefully I'm going to be doing like daily streams of uh, Halo Anniversary. You know, hashtag Road to 50. But so I just want to... I uh, ask you guys if there's any games besides that that you could see me playing, possibly. I think that would be absolutely pretty cool. I just want to go ahead and craft up a couple of these sharp stones. And make some crossbow bolts. So we actually have something to shoot. There we go, we got five. Let's put the feathers away. I think we dropped the feathers. Let's put the feathers away. We got forged iron, which we don't have much of a use for. Coal and potassium nitrati. Uh, we might as well go ahead and craft this down so we can be a bit more manageable with our stuff. Put the feathers down. Nighttime should be hitting, as in like super fast forward nighttime. Should be hitting relatively quickly. I'm not hearing much in the way of zombies outside though, which is kind of surprising. I was completely expecting way more. Also, who, who the hell littered in the church? Come on, have some respect. This is the house of God after all. My God, no respect. However, it does have a feather. Empty can... Eh, we need two empty cans to really make anything useful out of them, so I'm not going to bother with that. We'll put the feather away, though. A beaker. Could, like, I think we can cook more antibiotics with that, but I don't think we really need that at the moment. Water's starting to go down. Where's our goldenrod? Didn't we cook up some goldenrod tea? I could have sworn... Did it disappear or something? I feel like it might have disappeared. No way, where's our goldenrod? We had to have. No, no. Come on, there's no way we did not cook up a bunch of goldenrod. Okay, there it is. I'm just blind. I'm sorry. Uh, so goldenrod gives you plus 40, plus 40. My honey, uh, plus 40, plus 10, plus 5. Coffee, plus 10 hydration, which gives you the caffeine buzz, which is awesome for uh, running long distances. It's pretty much you just can't run out of anything. And bottled water is a 20, 20. Oh, so coffee actually gives you less than water. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. That caffeine buzz is an absolute ridiculous boost, so definitely want to keep it around for that reason. We'll just go ahead and grab a couple golden rods for the time being. And also, we don't want to travel into town with too many resources on us, really. Actually, we'll just drink up one. We'll bring one to go, though. Uh, put the stones away. Where do we put them away? Hmm. Oh, where the fight? No. I think it's the feathers. I think the feathers were in the other one. We definitely want to go ahead and do some inventory management here so we can run into town with as little on us as possible. And that way we can go ahead and come home with as much as possible because, by the looks of it, in all honesty, that's about like a quarter of the city that we've really explored, so nothing major. And if we do come in there with the correct tools, such as a pickaxe, which, okay, we do have one right there. That does remind me. So I put the plant fibers away, and what we want to do is definitely repair that. I think we just need the f metal strips. Yeah, it's metal strips. So we just want to craft the forged iron down into pipes, and pipes down into metal strips. And strips actually don't go down any farther, but still. And then what we do is go ahead and get our pickaxe, and we'll just throw half in there. And how much does this repair it? I'm about halfway, so we'll repair it some more, because pickaxe is definitely one of the most important tools that we're going to be using, especially if we want to like break into gun safe rooms. Definitely want to go to one of those. Shovel? Eh, I don't really need to prioritize that too much. But we definitely need to do some management in regards to other stuff. Scrap lead, we're going to put that away. But I think we have a bunch of paper here. Put that away. Do we have any books in here? We did not. Oh, we have a bunch of wood, though. That would have been useful. Oh, God. Is that a hornet I hear? God damn it. I hate hornets. But a nighttime should be over soon, and then we're going to go ahead and venture into town and see what terrible things await us. Probably a lot, knowing my luck. Uh, fire axe. We want one of those repaired pretty well as well. So, craft one of these down. Ooh. I hear them outside. Ooh. They're coming. Gotta be ready. We got two bolts in here. Mm, nothing fully automatic, sadly. 
It's gonna be slightly worrying. Let's go and start crafting these up, though. And let's stay a bit stealthy here. I'd rather not get jumped by these guys. This is a very beautiful lamp, though. Definitely notice that. Also, I think, uh, I'm not sure if this is 100% confirmed or not, but I'm pretty sure that the Alpha 10 update, that they're kind of off what I've read, how far along they are, and kind of just the theme of the game and some inferencing. I'm thinking that the 7 Days to Die devs are actually aiming for a uh, kind of late October release, kind of to line up with Halloween, because, I mean, after all, 7 Days to Die is a spooky game, per se. It is a zombie survival game. So it'd be pretty in line to release a pretty, pretty big update along with Halloween. So I think that would be very, very timely. And I think that's what they're aiming for. Repaired our axe all the way. Very good, very good. Uh, let's put that away. Hmm. We don't need to bring the hoe with us, so we can put that away. Iron, eh, metal strips could be good for repairing, but we don't want to bring those with. And... By the looks of it, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's just go ahead and place these, uh, these, whatchamacall, wood frames. Let's go ahead and put these down over here. Let's kind of start filling this place in. I mean, we don't want zombies to run through here, so might as well, like, reinforce it. We'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll just fill this in to be kind of more of an empty room. I feel like that'll serve a better purpose. Ooh, some more bullet casings. We can throw that in with the rest of them. Still have not been noticed by zombies, which is great news. And uh, daytime should be arising pretty soon. So where did I put the feathers? Is it... No, it wasn't in this one. Other one? Uh, no. Did I even put... Oh, there they are. Okay, I didn't even put them away. That explains it. Uh, we'll put the lead in there. I don't think we have lead anywhere, really. Clay, we don't need to bring. Maple seeds, we'll just plant those outside. Uh, short shotgun stocks. I guess we could just start throwing these, like, in a cabinet. All the useless stuff. Ears of corn. Ooh. Uh, did we already plant our corn seeds? I'm not sure if we did. I'll be sure to check that outside. I want to say we did, but on the off chance we didn't, I definitely don't want to lose some corn. It's pretty valuable. Let's get rid of, like, the pistol slide. Yeah. It'll be all good, and then we'll just kind of throw the... Because I think stuff in this cabinet actually respawns after we're gone for a while. So I'd rather not put anything too valuable in here. I will plant the maple seeds while we're booking it outside. Um, blood bag we can put away into here. There we go. We got all of our fluids for the most part. I don't want to bring the eight bottled water with me though, so what I'll do is just kind of throw it in there for the time being. I don't think I don't think that'll make it despawn. Uh, golden rod tea will be the first thing we drink. We got our honey. We got coffee. We're good to go. We got all of our fluids right here. Actually. I kind of want to organize it this way. I think that'll be better. Uh, ammunition will go in that row. I'll put shotguns at the bottom. Just kind of, I don't know, this makes this makes sense to me. So, just just don't question it. Bullet casings went into here. Short barrel we can throw into here. And then as soon as we're done with this, is zombies are still raging outside, but we'll just go ahead and book it. Glass jars we'll go ahead and put away as well. Band-aid, short We'll put the short pipes away, unless we have room in... Do we have... No, I thought we might have put them down. We'll put those away. Bring the food. Bring the medical supplies. And that is our inventory, so pretty good, actually. Not, not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well I did. Now, for the most important thing. Sneaking out of here without accuring the wrath of millions of pissed off zombies. Alright, so we do have the corn and coffee planted, so that's good. I'll just go ahead and start planting uh, trees and using dead bodies as fertilizer, apparently. I mean, it's a great idea. Perfect way to use our resources. Drink up, cup of coffee, and start booking it the hell away from here. Blah, 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 blah. Can't stop me. Yeah, look at how awesome that is. As soon as you drink coffee, your stamina just does not stop. This is, this is where you use it for just running long distances because you can't be stopped quite literally like zombies might be chasing after me oh if I hit alt uh, what happens what the fuck if I hit alt like I can't use my mouse it's kinda weird I guess I don't know if that's intended either or I was gonna say we should venture up a little bit more north but at the same time eh kinda rather go back to town and see what that has to offer cause like I s under closer investigation 
we really didn't check out too much of the town in uh, the grand scheme of things, so definitely want to go ahead and do that. The sun is rising. We have a long day ahead of us. Uh, lots of zombies along this path, so that's no fun. Uh, can we keep running? No, no, can't keep running while hitting the map. Thought we could multitask. Mm -mm. That's not going to work. Not going to happen today. Uh, we got more pissy zombies, but that's no biggie. And a deer, which I could hunt, but eh, rather not. And hopefully on this uh, run into town, shouldn't be too much longer. And hopefully we do find some pretty good stuff, and we should be able to bust open pretty much into anything we want. So, should be good. Should have plenty of stuff, and should be awesome. I just kind of repeated myself a little bit, but nonetheless, should be awesome. And uh, like I said, because I'm going to end off the video pretty much before we hit town. Uh, and we'll save that adventure for the beginning of next one. But I wanted to go ahead and ask you guys, uh, just kind of remind you, question of the day, leave the comment down below telling me what game would you guys love to see me play that is uh, coming out soon. This could be like a big game, could be like an indie game, just do anything. I'm also planning on doing Survive the Nights and H1Z1, but neither of those really have set release dates, so it's kind of my logic with not saying anything, but it's pretty much just tell me what you guys think. And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe I'll even find out about a game I didn't know about before. And maybe I will play it. And then it'll be thanks to you. That's right, you. I'm talking to you and specifically you. Because this is magical and I can specifically talk to one of you at a time. But, uh, yeah, it's going to do it for me. So next time, I'm going to be checking out the city. Seeing what it has to offer. And hopefully exploring the rest of it. Because there's still quite a good chunk to check out. But that is going to do it for me this time. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, if you did, be sure to like. And this will be Star Sign. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.